Today's tennis is about power. Pushers go nowhere. If you want to improve your performance, let Gabe show you the correct mechanics of hip shoulder separation to create ballistic racket head speed. The more separation between hips and shoulder, the more power and velocity the athlete will have. It is essential that the hips open before the shoulders and not at the same time. The shoulders and hips have to be loose to create rotational force. Power equals force times velocity. The proper foundation gives the player strength. From there, the athlete can perform a ballistic movement. The power stroke is a sequence of movements, loading, unloading, maximum force at contact point, and follow through. Timing, rhythm, distance to the ball, and contact point are essential to execute a stroke with speed and velocity, making it powerful and explosive. Tennis is a ballistic sport and the swing involves rapid movements. The speed of the movement is essential to hit the ball as fast as possible and the player must maintain the proper form during the stroke. Good hip movement increases arm speed automatically. Concentrating on the hip rotation, the player doesn't have to force the arm speed. The hips determine how much force can be transferred to the arm. Players have to load correctly to allow for maximum force to be applied while executing the shot. The power will start from the legs transferring the weight of the body forward. By rotating the hips and shoulders, the player will allow for maximum rotation of the core, creating strong torque at the contact point. The core strength in the lower torso and upper legs are the muscles that provide the primary source of power in all strokes. The hip shoulder separation it's vital for an angular stroke. It creates more power and racket head speed.